All right, guys, so today's video, today's video, trying to get this in the right spot. Today's video uh, is a little bit different than the normal videos that, of course, I put out. I don't know if that's right, maybe there. Um, in regards to, we're not really doing a review, but, uh, well, kind of, I guess. If we go back in time, go back in time to 2017, 2018, um, I was starting to do a little bit more vloggy style videos because I really wasn't sure uh, what I wanted this channel to turn into. It's kind of taken, you know, it's kind of taken uh, a road on its, on its own path right now, which is awesome. But at that point in time, we were really at our beginning stages of this channel and really didn't have a lot of money to put into uh, really much of anything. So we ended up looking for or tried to find ways that you and I, or me especially, could get audio that didn't cost me anything. That was, that was a huge thing, finding audio that, well, was zero dollars, right? So a few things just to be aware of. If you are uh, on a zero budget, which I get, YouTube has their own sound library. You know, do a search for YouTube sound library, uh, you, you'll find it. And it has a bunch of music that has no copyright on it and you can download it. And because it's under the YouTube umbrella, their, their own service, you can feel very confident that this is gonna work for you. But today we're primarily talking about one uh, service that's, I say service that's on YouTube, that's actually really large that I would completely not recommend. And that's coming up. All right guys, so like I said, between 2017 and the beginning of 2019-ish, I'd say somewhere in there, um, I actually was using a uh, I don't want to say it again, I wasn't using a service. I was using music from uh, a YouTube channel here called No Copyright Sounds. And you can see here, they've got, it's a crazy amount of subscribers, right? 30 right now, 30.3 million. So that's, that's awesome. Uh, all this music, no copyright. It's literally right in their title. So I would go through and I would find music in here like a lot of us do and I would be like, yeah, I'll use that for my video. Very cool. So, uh, in the first year, I actually, you know, got uh, one song that came back at me about, you know, six months or so after I started using it. And, and this was the response from uh, No Copyright Sounds at that time it was just like, yeah, it looks like uh, we don't have their licensing anymore. So, eh. But, you know, I was like, okay, well, that's kind of a hit. And uh, I guess I'll, um, it's only one, so one, one song and one video, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. But let's fast forward a couple years. Now the channel is starting to do uh, much better because we really focused on it. And we, uh, even older videos that we did years back have because of our influence right now, because you know, YouTube sees us as a, a little bit of a, I don't want to say a big channel, but of a bigger channel than we were two, three years ago. Um, a lot of even older videos are starting to do well. So of course, uh, I went and you know went onto my own dashboard, and you'll see here, right? Um, let's go back here. Uh, video received copyright claim from when? May 2018. And I checked that song. One of the no copyright sounds. Huh? Go back again. Oh, can you vlog? Again, when was this posted? This was posted, I think, 2018. What music was I using in that video? Ah, no copyright sounds. Cool. Here's another one, 2018, trip to, to Niagara Falls. What? No copyright music? Getting a copyright? Wow. Last but not least, Puerto Vallarta, our trip there, 2017. Copyright, yeah. So here's, here's the thing. Uh, and I've had zero, 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 zero success with any anything there being like, uh, I'm getting copyright on these. And they're like, yeah. Okay, so uh, if you're making a video that you have no um, 
thoughts of it ever being monetized or you really don't care, then have, have at it. I'm not getting a copyright strike. It's just that any monetization that could happen with this video, uh, I'm not getting. It's going right to whoever owns this song, which it should if uh, I wasn't under the assumption that any music that I would use from a company like No Copyright Sounds would actually remain under no copyright. Not true. And they won't do anything to help you if that artist decides to file a copyright strike or if that artist moves to another label that now owns the copyright. They, there's nothing. They won't do anything. So uh, my, my suggestion for all of you, um, if you're going to use free audio, use the YouTube stuff. It's, you know that it's protected, you know, it's under the YouTube umbrella, umbrella like I said, it's under Google. Um, I use myself two services that I pay for now. Uh, one is, and this is probably the one that I, I like the most, is actual, is Artlist. And the reason I used Artlist or I jumped on Artlist was because um, that its licensing is pretty much for anything that you do. It didn't matter if it was YouTube or commercial work or it didn't matter. It's just like have at her and their library really good. Nothing that you and I had to do. Uh, uh, you can see under here, this is my library, right? Download history. There you go. It's just like, there's just tons show more music that I've downloaded, right? Have at her. Awesome. Uh, it's probably my favorite one. Uh, I do have links down below. Just realize this isn't sponsored by anybody. This is just me because I've been hitting these uh, older videos, all of a sudden just getting these little strikes against them. Now, the other thing that's really cool with this one, and again, even when you pay for a service, that doesn't mean that there's gonna be zero hiccups. So on uh, my dashboard, you can see here, number the fifth one here, you received a copyright claim and, and I screen captured this one just so you guys could see it. Um, and I actually reached out because this was a video that I did in 2020 when I was using or had started using the Artlist service. And uh, I sent them out one, I showed the video, I showed where the video was being tagged as it being copyright, et cetera, et cetera. And basically within like a couple days, I got this, you know, we're happy to report that the claim on is now cleared. Please check your status of your video and let us know how has it affected you. So they went in and did all the legal stuff that needed to be done to, to show that this video was okay for me to use. They, they, they dealt with it and they actually said, yeah, we've, we've been getting some information from this artist because he moved out and of course their, their new company that they're with is scanning, not realizing that if you used it between these periods or were under the Artlist umbrella that you were covered. Very cool. And the big one is, is Artlist helped me and supported me. Cool. Now, the other one that uh, I use uh, is Hook Sounds. And I think Hook Sounds is actually newer. And I will do this with, with full uh, transparency here. Uh, Hook Sounds is actually giving me a free uh, membership to them to try them out. So, uh, they're good. The, their music is different. It's, in, and I mean different is that it doesn't seem like it's as much commercial, like radio songs that you would hear. I find in Artlist, their, their genres or their, uh, the style of music is stuff that you and I would possibly maybe even hear on the radio. There's stuff with voice, there's stuff with people singing, there's, there, it's bigger service without question. Hook Sounds I think is newer, um, but their music has a lot more of that you put in the background behind when you're talking. So in a vlogging video, I, chances are I would probably use artless music more. In a video like this one, for instance, the music that you're hearing is actually from Hook Sound because it's just that nice little ambient music that you can put in the background. And you come in here and you have all kinds of stuff, latest releases, you know, sound effects if you want some in there. Um, you can go to your music, et cetera, et cetera. Do you want cinematic? Do you want electronic? It's, it's all there, just, just like it is on Artlist. But the reason I put up this video is I know, especially when you look at the amount of subscribers they have, there are 30 million people that have subscribed to 
uh, no copyright music. And uh, that music that I used for that year is coming back and biting me. So it's money that uh, I could be making. Now again, if you are making videos and you don't care about monetization or you're not being monetized, then whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, use them. The music options are pretty good if you like that techno -y dance music. But uh, if you want the ability to go to a service and look up music based on the style of music, uh, you know, is it gonna be cinematic? Is it gonna be guitar based? Is it gonna be piano based? Does it have vocals in it? You know, and not have to listen to one song and be like, nope, close, close, close all the ads, next song. Nope, close, close, close all the ads, da da da, next song. Uh, it is way better to invest a little bit of money into a paid service. Now, whatever service you use, have at her. You know, there's tons of them out there, um, but get a service that you pay for if you're doing YouTube uh, professionally, or if it's an ambition that it will be uh, a job that you'll be making money on. All right, guys, uh, just a little little video today, a little heads up video based on my own experience, and uh, that's it. We do have links down below if you guys are interested uh, in either the hook sounds or art list. And uh, you guys can go take a look, try it. I think some of them actually have like a free, free sample time, a little trial. Yeah, that's cool. Links to those are down below. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And we will be back hopefully tomorrow with some uh, more review videos. All right, my friends, later.